Hi everyone! So in this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this little girl shell stitch cardigan. So this cardigan can be made in a number of different sizes and for all of the information on how to make the different sizes, please see the description box below. So thank you very much for watching and please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. So to begin your cardigan, you want to make a slip knot. So to do a slip knot, you want to take your yarn and you want to take your finger and you want to wrap the yarn around your finger once and then wrap the yarn around your finger twice. Then take the first loop and pull it over the second loop and then take the second loop and pull it all the way over your finger. You then want to take your crochet hook, go in through this space and pull tight. And there you have a slip so knot. So once you have your slip knot, you now want to make your foundation chain. And for our foundation chain, we are going to chain 55. So you want to chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way up to 50. So like five. that. So there I have made my foundation chain of 55. And we are now ready to move on to round one of our cardigan. So we are now on to round one of our cardigan. And round one is just going to be a simple round of double crochet. So we are simply going to work one double crochet into every single stitch along our foundation chain or into every single chain. And we're going to work our very first double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. So here we have the first chain from the hook, the second, the third and the fourth. So here is the fourth chain from the hook and into this chain we are going to work our first double crochet. So to do a double crochet you want to yarn over and go into the chain. So the fourth chain from the hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through the final two loops on your hook. So there we have one double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. And now for the rest of round one, we are just going to work one double crochet into every single chain along the rest of our foundation chain. So yarn over and go into the next chain and work your next double crochet. So another double crochet and yarn over and go into the next chain and work another double crochet and just continue to do this all the way along your foundation chain for round one one double crochet into every single chain so I have just finished working that all the way along for round one and I worked one final double crochet into the very last chain and at the end of round one, you should have 53 stitches along. So 53 stitches in your row. And this includes the chain three that we skipped at the very beginning. So at the beginning, when we worked into the fourth chain from the hook and we skipped these three chains, these three chains count as our first double crochet. So the three chains are our first double crochet. So you should have 53 stitches along, including the three chains. And we are now ready to move on to round two. So we are two. now moving on to round two of our cardigan. And to begin round two, you want to chain three. So chain one, two and three and turn chain three and turn and for round two we are going to do one double crochet into one stitch but then two double crochets both into the next stitch then one double crochet into the next stitch but then two double crochets both into the next stitch all the way along so we have chain three and turned and our chain three counts as our first double crochet so our chain three is the double crochet for this stitch here so we are going to begin working into the next one along this one so we have done one double crochet into the first stitch so into this next stitch we are going to work two double crochets both into this stitch so yarn over and go into the next stitch and work one double crochet and then yarn over and go down into the exact same stitch and work a second one. 
So there we have one, two. So into the next stitch, we're going to do one double crochet. But into the next one, you want to do two double crochets, both into this stitch. And continue to work this all the way along. So we have one, two, one, two. So now we're going to do one double crochet into the next stitch and then two double crochets both into the next one. So continue to do this for round two. So I have just finished working that all the way along for round one and when you come to the very end you should have one stitch left so you should have worked one two one two all the way along and then you should have one stitch left at the end and this is actually the turning chain so the chain three that we skipped at the beginning of round one and into this turning chain, we're going to work one double crochet. So you want to do one, two, one, two, all the way along, and then work one final double crochet into the top of the chain three at the end of the round. So finish off with one final double crochet, and we are now ready to move on to round three. So we are three. now on to round three, and to begin round three, you want to chain three and turn. So chain one, two, three, and turn. And this chain three counts as our first double so crochet. So now in round three, what we are going to do is every time we come to an individual double crochet, so where we just worked one double crochet into the stitch, we are going to work one double crochet into that stitch. So in every time we worked one double crochet last round, we are going to work one double crochet into that stitch. And then every time we come to where we worked two double crochets into the stitch, so here and here and here, so every other stitch, we are going to go in between those two double crochets and work three double crochets. So for round three, we are going to do one double crochet, three double crochets, one double crochet, three double crochets, all the way along. So we have chain three, and this chain three counts as our first double crochet. So the chain three is the double crochet for this last stitch here. So the last double crochet that we worked at the end of round two. So now we're going to move on to the next stitch and here we have a set of two double crochets that we worked last round. So we're going to yarn over and go in between these two double crochets. So go in between the two double crochets that we worked into the same stitch in round two and we're going to work one double crochet. Then we're going to yarn over and go back in between them and work a second double crochet and then work a third one. So you want to work three double crochets in between the two double crochets from last round. So now we're going to move on to the next stitch and here we have an individual double crochet. So just one double crochet worked into one stitch and we're going to work one double crochet into the top of this stitch. So like that and then we're going to move on to the next stitch and here we have two double crochets both into the same stitch so yarn over and go in between them so into the space in between them and work three double crochets so one two and three and you want to continue to do this all the way along for round three. Do one double crochet into every individual double crochet from last round, and then three double crochets in between the sets of two double crochets from last round. So we're doing one, three, one, three, all the way along. So go into the next stitch and work one double crochet into the top of the stitch, and then work three double crochets in between the two double crochets from last round. So one, two, and three. So continue this for round three. So 
So I have just finished working that all the way along for round three. So I have done three double crochets into this last set of two at the end. So I did three double crochets here. And then to finish off round three, you want to do one final double crochet into the top of the turning chain at the end of the round. So we have the turning chain here, which counts as a stitch. And you want to yarn over and go into the top of this turning chain. So into the top of the chain three and work a double crochet. So go into the chain and work one double crochet to finish like that. So there we have completed round three of our cardigan and we're ready to begin so round four. So we are now four. on to round four of our cardigan and to begin round four you want to chain three and turn. So chain three and turn and this chain three counts as our first double crochet. So round four is very similar to round three but instead of doing one double crochet, three double crochets, one double crochet, three double crochets all the way along, for round four we're going to do one double crochet, four double crochets, one double crochet, four double crochets all the way along. So into every single individual double crochet, so every single double crochet, we are going to do one double crochet into the top of that stitch, just as in round three. And then when we get to the set of three double crochets that we worked last round, we are going to go into the second double crochet of the set of three. So into the second one, into the middle, and we are going to work four double crochets all into that stitch. So for round four, we're going to do one double crochet, four double crochets, one double crochet, four double crochets all the way along. So we have chain three and this chain three counts as our first double crochet for this stitch here. So this is our first double crochet. So we're going to move on to our first set of three. So one, two, three. And you want to go into the second of the set of three, so the middle stitch and go into the top of the stitch and work four double crochets all into this stitch. So there we have one, so go down into the same stitch and work a second double crochet. Then work a third one into the exact same stitch and then work a fourth. So like that, so there we have a set of four double crochets all into the second double crochet of the set of three from last round. So now we're going to repeat that again. Yarn over and go into the individual double crochet here and work one double crochet. And then yarn over and go to the set of three and go to the middle one, so the middle of the three and go into the top of the stitch and work one double crochet. Back into the same stitch and work a second one. Down into the same stitch and work a third and then down into the same stitch and work a fourth. So four double crochets, then go to the single double crochet and work one, and then go to the middle of the next set of three and work four, and continue this all the way along for round four. So I have just finished working that all the way along for round four. So I have worked four double crochets at the very end here and we have one stitch left to work into. This is a chain three turning chain again and you want to yarn over and go into the last chain. So go into the third chain of the chain three and work one final double crochet to finish the round. So one final double crochet at the very end and we are now moving on to round five. So we are five. now on to round five and to begin this round you want to chain three and turn and the chain three counts as one double crochet. And now round five is very similar to round three and round four. But instead of doing one four one four or one three one three all the way along, 
For round five, we are going to do one double crochet, five double crochets, one double crochet, five double crochets, all the way along. So in the same way as round three and round four, every time we come to a single double crochet or an individual double crochet, we are going to work one double crochet into that stitch. So we'll work one double crochet into this stitch, one into this one, this one. So one double crochet into every individual double crochet. And then when we get to our set of four double crochets from last round, we are going to go into the middle of these sets of four. So if you look at your set of four, we're going to go into the middle. So in between the second and third double crochet, so into this space here, and we're going to work five double crochets all into this stitch. So we're going to do one double crochet, five, one double crochet, and then five in between the second and third double crochet of the set of five, or sets of four, sorry, from so last round. So we have round. chain three and turned, and this chain three counts as our first double crochet for this stitch here. So we're going to move along to our first set of four. So here we have one, two, three, four. So you want to go in between the second and third stitch. So in between here, so you should have two on either side and yarn over and go into the space in the middle and work five double crochets all into this space. So there we have one and we're going to work a second one, two, three, four, and finally five. So five double crochets all into that space there. So you can see here we have the first and second double crochet and then the third and the fourth and we have gone in between there and worked five. So we have one, five. So now we're going to go to this next individual double crochet and work one double crochet into this stitch. And then we're going to move on to our next set of four and we're going to go in between the second and third stitch. So in the middle there, and we're going to work five double crochets all into this space. So go in between the second and third stitch of the set of four and work five double crochets all into the same space. So like that, so there you can see I have worked five double crochets all into the middle of that set of four. So now we're going to do one double crochet into the next individual double crochet and then in the next set of four I'm going to go in between the second and third stitch and I'm going to work five double crochets all into this stitch. One, two, three, four and five. Like that. So there you just want to continue to do that all the way along one five one five one five all the way along for round so five. So I have just finished working that all the way along for round five and then as with the other rounds to finish off this round you want to do one final double crochet into the top of the chain three turning chain at the end of the round. So work one final double crochet to finish and we're now moving on to round six. So to begin round six you want to chain three and turn and this chain three counts as our first double crochet. So now for round six we're going to do the exact same thing as round five. We're going to do one double crochet, five double crochets, one double crochet, five double crochets, all the way along for round six, the exact same thing as we did for round five. So we have chain three and this counts as our first double crochet for this stitch here. So we're now going to move on to our first set of five double crochets and we are going to work five double crochets into the top of this set. So we're going to work our five double crochets into the third double crochet of the set of five. So here we have our five, one, two, three, four, five, and you want to go to the very middle stitch, so the third one, and yarn over and go into the top of this stitch, so the top of the third double crochet, 
and work your five double crochets all into this stitch. So we're doing five double crochets into the third double crochet of the set of five from last round. So there I have four and then finally a fifth double crochet. So like that. So one double crochet, five double crochets. So now I'm going to go to the next individual double crochet and work one double crochet. And then I'm going to go to the next set of five and I'm going to go to the third double crochet. So one, two, three, and go into the top of this stitch and work five double crochets all into this stitch. And continue to do this all the way along for round six. It's the same thing as round five. We're just working our set of five double crochets into a slightly different place. So continue to work this all the way along for round six. So I have six. just finished working that all the way along for round six. And then you want to work a final double crochet into the turning chain to finish the round. So work one final double crochet. And there we have finished round six and we're ready to move on to the next round, round seven. So we are seven. now on to round seven. And in this round, we're going to take our big circle, which we have here, and we're going to add in the shape of our cardigan. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to work a certain number of stitches for the first half of the front of our cardigan. Then we're going to skip a set of stitches for the first armhole. Then work along another set of stitches for the back. Then we're going to skip another set of stitches for the other armhole. And then work along the rest of the front. So another set of stitches for the other side of the front of our cardigan. And that is how we are going to create the shape. So the front, the back and two armholes in round so seven. So in round seven, you want to chain three and turn. And this chain three counts as our first double crochet. So now in round seven, we are going to view our work in sets. So we're going to look at our work in sets. And one set is five double crochets and then a double crochet. So for one set, we have five double crochets and then a double crochet. That is one set there. Then here we have another set. And here we have another set. So one set is five double crochets and then one double crochet. That is one set. And that is what we are going to work in for round seven. So for the first half of the front of our cardigan, we are going to work four sets. So we have our chain three, which counts as our first double crochet, and this is not included in any set, that is just on the end. So we are now going to work four sets for the front of our cardigan. So all for the first half of the front of our cardigan. So we're going to have one set, two sets, three sets, and four sets. So four sets of five double crochets, and then one double crochet. So four sets. So to do your first set, we are going to go into the third double crochet of the first set of five. So go into the third double crochet and work five double crochets into this third double crochet. So just as we did last round, we are working five double crochets into the third stitch of the set of five from last round. So there we have five double crochets into that third double crochet and then we're going to work one double crochet into the next individual double crochet. So there we have worked one set and we're going to do that three more times or four times in total for the first half of the front of our cardigan. So we're going to work our next set. So go into the third double crochet of the set of five or the next group of five and work five double crochets all into this stitch. So five double crochets and then work one double crochet into the next stitch. So there we have a second set and do this two more okay, times. So I have just finished working those four sets. So there I have one set, two sets, three sets and four sets. And there I have the first half of the front of my cardigan completed. And we are now going to move on to the first armhole. And for the first armhole, we are just going to skip five sets. So you want to skip 
five sets. So here we have one set, which we're going to skip, two, three, four, and then we have five. So we are going to skip all of those five sets. So you want to skip five sets for the armhole. And then here we have the start of our next set. And this is going to be the first set of the back of our cardigan. So finish off your four sets, skip five sets for the armhole. And here we have the start of our first set after the five that we have skipped for the armhole. And we are going to work a, a set as usual for the back of our cardigan. So we have skipped five. So now yarn over and go into the third double crochet of the set of five directly after the fifth one that you have skipped and go into the third double crochet. And then I like to pull my work together like this to make sure that I am working nice tight stitches and then work five double crochets into that third double crochet there. So one, two, three, four, and five. So there we have five double crochets, and then you want to work one double crochet into the next stitch. So there we have worked the first set of the back of our cardigan, and you can see we have skipped for our first armhole. So we worked four along for the front, skipped five sets for the armhole, and then we have worked the first set of the back of our cardigan. So five double crochets and then one double so crochet. So now the back of our cardigan is actually eight sets long. So the back of our cardigan is eight sets long. So we have already worked one set, which we just worked. So you need to work seven more. So we're going to work a second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh. So keep working up until you have eight sets along for the back. So keep doing five double crochets, one double crochet, five double crochets, one double crochet, eight times for the back of your so cardigan. So I have just finished working my sets along for the back. So I have eight sets in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. So I've worked a final double crochet there of the eighth set. And now we are going to move on to the next armhole of our cardigan. And this armhole is going to be worked in the exact same way as the last one. So the exact same way, we are simply going to skip five sets. So count out your five sets. There's one, two, three, four, and five. So we are going to skip all of those stitches, all of those five sets, and we're going to move straight on and we are going to begin working this set here, which is the first set of the next half of the front of our cardigan. So skip five sets and then yarn over and go into the third double crochet of the set of five directly after the five sets that you have skipped and begin working your next set. So this is the same thing as we did for our last armhole. So here I'm working five double crochets into the third double crochet of this set of five, like that. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to do one double crochet into the next so stitch. So there you can see we have our next armhole and we have moved on to the front of our cardigan, the other side, and we have already just worked our first set of the front. And you want to continue working sets along until you get to the end of the round. And that should be four sets. So one, two, three, and four. So continue to work your sets. So there are five double crochets and then one double crochet. So I have just come to the end of round seven and I finished off that last set by working one double crochet into the last stitch. So make sure you work one double crochet at the very end to finish off your last set. 
And here you can see we have created the shape of our cardigan. We have the front, the armhole, the back, the armhole and the other side of the front. So there we have completed round seven and we're moving on to round eight of our cardigan. So we are now on to round eight of our cardigan. And to begin round eight, you want to chain three and turn. And round eight is very simple. We're simply going to do one double crochet, five double crochets, one double crochet, five double crochets, all the way along. So just as we did in the previous round, we're going to work our sets all the way along. So we have chained three, and this counts as our first double crochet for this stitch here. So we're going to move on to our first set of five, and you want to go into the third stitch, so the third double crochet of the set of five, and you want to work five double crochets all into this third double crochet. So there I have three, then four, and then five. So work five double crochets into the third double crochet of every set of five, and then when you get to your individual double crochets, you want to work one double crochet into the top of that stitch. Then we're going to do five into the next one, then one, then five, then one, then five, all the way along for round eight. So just continue to work your sets all and the I way along. I just quickly wanted to show you that when you get to the armholes, it's really important that you do not go up into the armholes, that you work straight across. So work your set of five and then go straight across to this double crochet here and work your next double so crochet. So I have just finished working that all the way along for round eight and you want to work one final double crochet into the top of the chain three to finish. So you can see I have done one last double crochet and there we have completed round eight and we're ready to move on to round nine. So we are nine. now on to round nine of our cardigan and for the rest of the length of our cardigan you simply want to repeat round eight. So you can repeat round eight as many times as you like. You can make your cardigan as long or as short as you want to. So I'm probably going to repeat it until my cardigan is about this long, but you could make a short cardigan, a long cardigan, it's up to you. So just keep repeating round eight, so the round that we just did, again and again and again and again, until you feel that your cardigan is long enough. So for round eight, if you remember, you chain three, and turn to start. So chain three and turn. And our chain three counts as our first double crochet for this stitch here. And then you simply want to do five double crochets, one double crochet, five double crochets, one double crochet, all the way along. And you work your five double crochets into the third double crochet of the set of five. So go into the third double crochet of the set of five and work five double crochets. So do that all the way along, five, one, five, one, five, one. And when you come to the very end of every single round, you need to make sure that you work a final double crochet into the top of the turning chain. So make sure that you go into this last double crochet or this last turning chain here and work one last double crochet to finish each round. So just continue to repeat round eight for as many times as you like until you feel that your cardigan is so long enough. So I have finished repeating that row again and again and again. And then I finished off by fastening off and I pulled my yarn out and my hook. And then I weaved all of my ends into the inside of my cardigan. And I then went ahead and added a button up here and I just used the holes in between the stitches for my button loop or my button hole. And I have finished so my that cardigan. that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it easy to follow. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. And thanks again for watching.